Hello and welcome to the world of Craig. Now that is some seriously lived in looking colour using Teasy Lights. And that's exactly what we're going to get into in this tutorial. Why I use the technique, how you do it, and some serious tips and hacks for foiling. And of course, as always, is the Shady Q Gloss Formula. So I've coloured the gorgeous Marine's hair about six months ago using tint. But this time around, we want to lift up the lightness on those ends, not right up to the root though. She wants no grow out at all. So that's why we're going to use Teasy Lights. Of course, as always, I'm starting off with the brilliant K18 Molecular Mist. For all the what's, why's and how's, check out the K18 content here on my channel. For my lifting, I'm using something that's new to me from Evo. And as always, I will, oh, I've got my filmy foils, of course. I will leave everything I've used in the description box below. Starting off with my general foil highlighting sectioning, which is from the top of the head to just behind the ear. I take a section that's about three inches below the crown, that's about three quarters of an inch deep. I'm using thicker sections here because I want a really sun-kissed result. So with my first two foils in, what exactly is a Teasy Light and how do we do it? Well, I take my section and I hold it under tension. Then I go in about halfway up the section, pushing the hair, the shorter hairs in fact, down towards the head. Now, this isn't a woven section. That's just the hair that I don't want to highlight that I've pushed out of the way by using that teasing. As I work up towards the crown, my sections get finer and I actually weave that very top crown section. This makes sure that everything is blended when the result is finished. Now I'm moving on to the front and I'm following the same process. And you can see here that's much finer as I work up to the top of the head. That's all the foils in, really simple, and I leave that very part area out. Marine wants no grow out at all on her highlight. She doesn't want to maintain it. So none of these are going right up to the root. Right, let's have a foil processing hack. So why exactly am I waving my finger about in the air and pointing at foils? Well, when you're using a technique that's not right up to the root, you want to get maximum lift. So I clip the foils up towards the head and this uses body heat with the added use of cling film to get maximum lift. And here we have our level eight and a half slash nine, which is exactly what we want for Marine's warm result. Once the rest of the foils are processed, it was over to the basins and we rinsed and shampooed with K18 Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. This is fantastic for removing any product buildup and actually removes 99% in just one shampoo. Now, it's worth mentioning here that the result looks super blended and we haven't even toned, but what are we going to tone with? Of course, I'm using Shazy Q Gloss, a mixture here, one-to-one -one of 9GB and 9N. But why exactly have I chosen that? Well, let's pause here and I'll share with you why. So with the formula being GB and N, the GB is gold beige and the N has a soft blue violet tone. If you remember, I had lifted Marine's hair up to about a level eight and a half. So we're not toning on the level here, but her hair already has some warmth. So this formula will tone some of that warmth down slightly, but keeping that golden reflect. And gold, don't forget, is the most reflective color in hair. As I wanted maximum deposit, and of course, loads of shine, I applied the formula to dry hair and we processed for 20 minutes. Once that time was up, we rinsed, shampooed with K18 Peptide Prep Maintenance Shampoo and went in with the fantastic K18 Leave-In Mask. As we get into Mahin's super glossy result, a chance for me to say, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you know exactly what to do. I have a strict policy here on my channel that you leave me a comment or a question down below and I will always, oh hello, I will always reply to you. There are loads more foiling videos here on my channel. In fact, they're all in a playlist and a teasy light is a great way to give a blended result on any hair type. A huge thanks for watching this. You all take lots of care and I'll see you all in the next one.